This YCN Sports Wrap Special is brought to you by Raleigh Lakeside Builders, a local company dedicated to delivering the highest quality craftsmanship in both a time and budget sensitive manner. Kearsarge Heating and HR Clough, your local energy specialist, much more than a home heating fuel provider. Kentucky Stoneworks, a full service stone masonry contractor operating in central New Hampshire. Durazio Electric, Mark wants you to know that his work is done with the time and care he would give his own family. And by Kentucky Chamber of Commerce. Hey, welcome back to this special Hoppington Boys Lacrosse Championship episode of YCN Sports Wrap. So back on Saturday, June 10th, the top-ranked teams of Kearsarge and Hopkinton faced off for the division title. The Hawks held the number one seed with an undefeated record, while Kearsarge held the second seed. The only losses Kearsarge has suffered this year came at the hands of this Hopkinton squad, and one of those games went into overtime. If the Hawks wanted to win their second championship since 2011, they'd have to beat this solid Cougar team for a third time. So now without further ado, let's check out this D3 Boys Lacrosse Championship game between the undefeated Hawks and the second ranked Cougars. This championship game was played on a very nice afternoon at Bill Ball Stadium in Exeter, New Hampshire. Hopkinton started the game exactly like they have all season with an offensive outburst. Midfielder Henry Yanakopoulos won the opening faceoff and quickly scored the first goal of the game just 11 seconds in. The Hawks would go on a 4 0 run with another goal from Henry, and with Liam Flanagan also finding the back of the net unassisted. Kearsarge was able to stop the bleeding when Tom Gallo assisted Xander Hawk, who scored the Cougars' first goal. This made the score 4-1 with two and a half minutes remaining in the first quarter. But Hopkinton's Prince Mansa soon scored unassisted, and Joe Cullinan made a nice dish to an open Colby Quiet who also found the back of the net. This extended Hopkinton's lead to five with a score of 6-1 heading into the second quarter. Kearsarge got some momentum to start this second when Justin Norris scored an impressive unassisted rocket of a goal. But Hopkinton's offense wasn't about to let up, as Flanagan scored his second goal of the game off an assist from Cullinan, which made the score 7-2 heading into halftime. The Cougars seemed to play with more intensity from here on, as Gunnar Nurmi soon assisted Norris for another goal, which cut the lead to four just 30 seconds into the second half. Yanakopoulos, however, sprinted through the Kearsarge defense just a couple minutes later. He scored a very impressive unassisted goal as he fell to the ground, which extended the Hawks' lead back up to five with a score of 8-3. The Cougars clearly now playing with nothing to lose looked great, as Colton Wilhelm soon sprinted down the right sideline and assisted Tommy Gallo. And less than 60 seconds later, Xander Hawk scored his second goal of the day with sharp shooting accuracy. Jess sneaking a shot past Hopkinton's Amoth. This made it a three goal game with a score of eight to five. Play went back and forth for a few minutes, but soon Hopkinton's Yanakopoulos passed to Colby Quiet, who passed to a well defended Carter Quiet. Carter was taken down by the Kearsarge defense, but he just managed to make a short pop-up pass to Jake Tomlinson, who secured the ball and scored easily past Kearsarge's Arnold. Now with less than two minutes left in the third quarter, Cougar senior Leland Heckel had the ball midfield. He fell but recovered and blew past Quiet as he easily scored, cutting the lead back down to three. But Hawks speedster Mansa silenced the Kearsarge crowd when he scored another unassisted goal. Hopkinton nearly scored right before the third quarter's final whistle, but Jacob Arnold in net made a nice stop to keep the score at 10-6 Hopkinton heading into the final 12 minutes of play. To start the fourth, Hopkinton's goalie Derek Amoth and Tomlinson were both sent to the sideline to serve penalties. 
backup goalie Alex Rousseau took over, and he and the Hawks' defense successfully killed the penalty, which was huge. This visibly took the wind out of the Cougars' sails, and the Hawks bared down. They would score two more times over the game's next five minutes, including another Flanagan goal, which extended Hopkinton's lead back up to five with less than 60 seconds remaining. <laughs> When it was all said and done, the Hopkinton Hawks were crowned Division III champions with a final score of 12-7. Hopkinton's Yannikopoulos was perfect from the field as he scored three goals on three shots. Flanagan also threw in a hat trick, and Joe Cullinan scored once with three assists as he was key in drawing in the defense and dishing the ball out to an open man. The Hawks finished the year with a perfect record of 17-0, and this was just the second game all season for Hopkinton that was decided by seven or fewer goals, with the other one also coming against its Kearsarge team. The Hawks will graduate eight key seniors, but Hopkinton clearly has a very strong foundation built for the future. Go Hawks! <laughs> Congratulations to the 2017 Division III Boys Lacrosse Champions, the Hawks of Hopkinton. What a remarkable undefeated year it was with no small amount of drama. We're going to take a quick commercial break, but when we return, we'll be taking a look at what both head coaches and a couple of Hawks players had to say about the win. We'll be right back. 